Live from the WHBC Broadcast Center. Find out more about area businesses, agencies, and events. It's what's going on right now. This is Spotlight on Stark County with Pam Cook and Gary Rivers. And welcome back to our Wednesday morning edition of Spotlight on News Talk 1480 WHBC. And good morning, Mr. Rivers. Morning. Glad to have you in studio along with us and me and you. And, well, we have the folks from Compassion Delivered this morning, our spotlight on Star County. First of all, you know you can listen to us on the radio or online at whbc.com. But you can also find us live on Facebook right this very minute. Right this very minute. All you have to do is like our Facebook page at 1480 WHBC. So we're going to talk about Compassion Delivered. And uh, in studio with us, the co-founders, Amanda and Daniel Anschutz, and also Lynn Gaston, who is a board member and is with Altman as well. But uh, we're going to talk about this and probably in connection with Altman, I would imagine. But um, good morning, everyone. Good morning. morning. So, Amanda, you and I, let's first start off. We met... (laughs) Uh, my goodness gracious, it's going to be what? It'll a, be a year in November. A year in November. Mm-hmm. Right. Um, when we did our very first Share the Good Star County, you right. were the person we interviewed. We were. That was the first time I actually found out that when you're on the radio, that also means that you're also on video, too. <laughs> I thought you could just show up in your pajamas and it was okay. But Well, you could do that. I couldn't because Gary I was going to be on. Oh, do yeah. you? I go <laughs> shopping at Walmart all the time that way. So what's, you know. Oh, well, in that case, now I know. But I felt so so much pressure because it was going to be on on film too but um but that was such an honor to be the very first but yeah. also just to see how far we've come since then yeah it's so. pretty amazing pretty mm-hmm. amazing well for the folks who don't know explain to them what compassion delivered is sure so we are an organization here in stark county that provides nutritional uh, meals to people who have life-threatening or terminal illnesses um, or diseases and we do those with providing meals on a weekly basis on fridays and every meal that we provide to them is at no cost. So, you know, people that have cancer, ALS, MS, Parkinson's, you know, those are kind of the areas that we're really focusing on um, just to give them a little bit extra um, support and nutrition that they need, you know, while they're dealing with their, Mm -hmm. their illness or their battle that they're going through. Yeah, this was something that maybe the way you came up with it probably needs to be explained as well. That's true. So really, um, it's kind of a, it's a really long story, so I'll make it really short because we We don't have have a lot of time. Yeah, we got it out. Take your time. In that case, I'll tell you the whole story now. Um, So really, um, it came to be because of a family member of mine who worked for a nonprofit in Denver, Colorado, and they have been around for almost 40 years doing the the exact same thing for the people that live in Denver, Colorado. But every year in the fall, I would write a check to that organization on behalf of my cousin. And finally, after marrying Daniel and joining our finances, he kept inquiring why I kept sending money away, you know, and I was like, oh, it's just because they're doing good things. And I don't, you know, he goes, what do they do? And I said, I don't know. And um, so, so finally I made Wow. A, I made so a, he, did he talk he to his attorney trusting. first before he gave I know, you, I mean, right? you know. He's very trusting. So, you Man. know, um, but finally I found out and it really just became an eye opener for us because each of us, both of us have had family members who have had life threatening illnesses and we've watched them go through that and the struggle that you have and and people are supportive, but people also are busy in life. And so really what ended up happening was in November of 2016, we both kind of looked at each other and began to pray about it and say, you know, is this what we're supposed to do? And all the doors began to open. And early on in the beginning, we had to meet with, you know, community leaders and people that we wanted to make sure that we weren't duplicating services, um, that we were going to do our very best due diligence to bring the right service to our community. And so we met with Mercy and we met with Altman Hospital. That's how we got to know Lynn and uh, and really they shared with us right away that this is a need you know this is an area that really could benefit people that are dealing with life-threatening illnesses that support and so uh, we officially became a 501c3 in January of 2017 and we just celebrated one year of making a full 52 weeks of meals and we made 1,560 meals um, and they gave all of those for free and that's really important to us that they don't pay for the meals because typically the people in those environments are already dealing with some really financial burdens because of what they're going through so so we've had some really exciting times right now you know so yeah 
How many people would you say you serve? So we started off really conservative, conservatively at four because we piloted our program to make sure it worked and make sure that we could do what we were going to say we could do. And we have now doubled that and we look to um, triple that basically by the end of the year. And then in 2019, we know that that number is going to continue to grow and right. continue mm -hmm. to build. And um, uh, when we met with the hospitals in early of 2017, they shared that between the two, there are about 20, 2,200 people in Stark County that could benefit from what we're doing. And that's a huge number. And we didn't feel that we could take that on and do it well. But, you know, eventually in years to come, that will probably be the number that we're looking at on a weekly basis. So you'd never get out of the kitchen, <laughs> right? I mean, you'd probably... You know. <laughs> Although, you Daniel, you need to tell mm. folks what you do for a living. I'm a chef by trade, so <laughs> on my days off, this is... Uh, this is what I do. So yeah. you're right. I'm in the kitchen every day. So you're in the kitchen anyway, <laughs> yes. every day. So now it'll That's just right. be 24-7. Right. You That's can right. call right. up the wife and say, I'll be home in 2030. <laughs> right. <laughs> Actually, she, you're probably standing right next to him, I aren't am, you? I'm, I'm pretty much there with them, you know, working, working together. So we do make a pretty good team. And um, I know a lot of people usually see myself at a lot of events. But technically, if it wasn't for him and for what he's doing, this really wouldn't make any sense. So yeah. he is the guy behind the scenes that makes it happen. And um, and I'm glad to be able to do that with him um, and, and do it for our community. We truly do believe in Stark County. So... All right. Well, then, so you have a partnership with the hospital. Could you explain we maybe do. what's going on here? Sure. And I'll let Lynn kind of share a little bit more about that. Um, so, yeah, okay. go ahead. All right. So we don't really have a partnership per se, but about a year ago, Amanda walked into the hospital to introduce the program to us. And um, it kind of came at a time for me personally that I was definitely interested. Um, my background is social work. Mm -hmm. So um, there are very few programs in the county that offer a service for free with sure. no strings attached, not a whole lot of criteria, not a whole lot of screening, nothing that they have to go through to prove um, that they are worthy of the service. So I was hooked for that from the very beginning. So um, we linked Amanda up with a couple different navigators through the cancer program, um, and not just at Altman, but at the other hospitals as well, um, because as Amanda said, there's definitely a need, and um, it's really not an, an Altman issue or a Mercy issue. It's a county issue. Right. Um, so I was hooked, and at the first, first uh, board meeting, Daniel brought food. <laughs> so he, right. I was hooked right. from minute one. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, these two are very hard to say no to. Their commitment and their passion is just inspiring. Um, and I think the biggest thing for us to utilize the program um, is that it's, of course, it's about the meals, mm -hmm. it's about the food, it's about the nutrition, it's about the healthy component. But I think more so it's about being kind and supportive to individuals in need. Often patients that have a chronic disease or a terminal illness are often alone. Um, they don't have a whole lot of support. Um, they may not have any family. And so that weekly visit that brings the meal just says to them that somebody is in their corner and somebody cares about them. Wow. Well. Well, why don't we take a break? When we come back, we'll talk about maybe what you're looking to do and hope to do and how you plan on doing that. Right. And then you can explain to me about this uh, mug you brought in with this, with this nutritious meal you brought in for us. <laughs> uh, maple cream. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that yeah. when we come back. Everything has a beginning. I listen to your radio show when I wake up in the morning. Get your day started at 5.30 a.m. with Canton's Morning News with Pam Cook. Thanks for your show. A place of sanity. Check in with Pam. Oh, I've been listening to you for years. I feel like you're one of my best friends. Hey, Stark County. Keep doing what you're doing. You're in the right place. Canton's Morning News with Pam Cook. WHBC keeps you up to date with important local, state, and national issues. Weekdays on Canton's Morning News on News Talk 1480 WHBC. Our pets are as precious to us as our family. They greet us happily when we come home. They provide us with a sense of companionship and are always by our sides. It's been said that a pet's life is a percentage of our lives, but we are all of their lives. It hurts terribly when we lose our fur babies. Hi, this is Joe Packley with the Packley Pet Crematory. In 2012, we opened our pet crematory separately from our human crematory to take care of families who have suffered the loss of a pet. Every pet is taken into our care with love and respect that they deserve. Our promise to each family that your pet will be cremated one pet at a time 
and you can be assured that the cremated remains returned to you are those of your pet only. Cost is based on the weight of your pet and includes a container. For more information, visit our website at packley.com or call us at 330-833-3222. 330-833-3222. Let's say you just bought a house. Bad news is, you're one step closer to becoming your parents, which means you're going to start telling your kids to clean up before the cleaning lady comes. Doesn't make sense, but you're the parent and they're the kids. You're going to start telling them that now too. Good news is, it's easy to bundle home and auto through Progressive and save on your car insurance. And there's your opening to remind them who pays the bills around here. Progressive Casualty Insurance Company affiliates and other insurers. Discount not available in all states or situations. It's the Ford Summer Sales Event. And now, while selection is best, it's the best time to buy. With amazing offers across a full lineup of Ford vehicles, now is the time to make summer go right with Ford, America's best-selling brand. Stop by a local Ford store or shop online at buyfordnow.com because there is no better time than right now to get behind the wheel of a new Ford during the Ford Summer Sales Event. summer sales event is here. Right now, get 0% APR financing for 72 months plus $1,000 Ford credit bonus cash on a great lineup of Ford SUVs. Best-selling claim based on 2017 calendar year sales. Not all buyers qualify for Ford credit financing. 72 months at $1,389 per month for $1,000 finance regardless of down payment. Not available on expedition. For all offers, take new retail delivery from authorized Ford dealer stock by 831.18. See dealer or go to buyfordnow.com for qualifications and details. Warning. If you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back, because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt-free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now, 1-800-900-6131. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now, 1-800-900-6131. That's 1-800-900-6131. 1-800-900-6131. Now back to Spotlight with Pam and Gary. All right, well, when we left our story, we were talking about taste testing the nutritious meal they brought in. <laughs> Wait a minute. What's that? <laughs> it's wrapped in cellophane. It's <laughs> not our actual oh my meal. Gosh. So. Oh, this isn't an actual meal. Okay. <laughs> and we're talking uh, to the folks from Compassion Delivered, Daniel and Amanda Anschutz, and also Lynn Gaston, who's with Altman, but a board member for Compassion Delivered. And we've been talking about this wonderful service they provide. And uh, so we were talking about the, the delicious, nutritious meals, and they brought us candy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But that's okay. Oh, yeah. I'm not complaining it's, about that. It's the good kind, too. So. And, and we do know that Daniel is a chef, but so how, how do you come up with the meals? I mean, what may, how do you decide, and what is it different all the time? I mean, explain that whole component. It is, it is. Our, our first, um, what, six months, mm -hmm. I didn't repeat a single um, entree and two-side combination. To well, first we were trying to figure out what because what, we freeze the meal so they can reheat at their leisure. So it's trying to figure out what froze well and what didn't. So we had a little trial and error there with our test group, um, but it was extremely helpful. Um, but I've been in this industry for 20 plus years now, so uh, I have a large knowledge bank to pull from. <laughs> yeah, my gosh. So when somebody does, you know, become part of this and and you get they get the meal, what do they get? Um, each entree has a protein, a starch, and a vegetable. Um, they get three of those, and we were doing soups, but in the summer, some, for some reason, people don't like soups as much. So come fall, those will be uh, coming back into our rotation. Yeah. We did find out that during our pilot program, nobody likes peas. Mm -hmm. So, yes, that's like a, that's a thing across the board. Nobody likes yeah. peas. And so, well, it was forced on them since childhood. Right. Yeah. That's probably the case. And so we have, we 
very rarely now put peas in our our mix. So <gasps> what about broccoli? Um, they love broccoli. Good. Green mm-hmm. beans yeah. are huge. Yes. Uh, I, I did cream spinach recently, which was a huge hit. Mm-hmm. Cream spinach, but not peas. Right. Yeah. right. I know, crazy. So That's we do get nice. our produce locally from Pegasus Farms. Um, they're fairly new with doing their garden, which is great. Um, we do try to use some other local produce. Um, individuals, you know, we want to know where it's, where it comes from, how it's grown, and that's really important, you know, as we look at the whole nutritional side of it, is that we're giving them the good um, nutrients that they need and things like that. So he does a really great job of making sure that that's a balance and it's the good starches and it's the good vegetables and the good proteins that they do need. All right, so how do you, how is this all funded? I mean, do you, would you just cut into your own personal uh, food uh, purchases, <laughs> or what do you do? We, we did fund uh, quite a bit of it from uh, the beginning, mm-hmm. but uh, we've taken a lesser role in funding it mm-hmm. since then, thankfully, to the uh, good-natured individuals in our community who have helped with donations and the outgiving from them. So we're 100% volunteer-based, so mm-hmm. but there's not a paid employee. Um, we get all of our donations through online, people who hear about us. Um, we have corporate donations. You know, people can become meal sponsors. Mm-hmm. And so that means that they cover the entire month of meals for our clients. Um, that's a fun way to advertise your organization or business. Um, it also gets your name into hands that might um, not necessarily know who you are, but they could eventually become a customer. Yeah. Um, and so that's a fun way. And then we do fundraisers. And we've been blessed to receive um, some grants also here from some wonderful foundations in our community yeah. so that have really helped us continue to grow and get the items that we need to continue to, to help more people. So, you know, when they get the meal, is it this broccoli courtesy of WHBC? <laughs> uh, right. Peace. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, Pam wants to donate several I'm cases totally of kidding. peas, no, and right. we were wondering if we right. could get a little logo on it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> whether you like it or not. So. On the plate, it spells out WHBC. <laughs> and, and peas, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gary's so creative, isn't he? I like that idea. <laughs> we might have to do that. No, I'm oh just kidding. Oh, my God. So, no, we, we, lab, we label every meal as to what the items are so the person knows what it is prior to heating it. But on there, if you become a meal sponsor, your logo is. Oh, it is meal, on there. Yeah, it says yeah. this meal it presented is. by and puts your logo and your name right there on top of it. Nice. So the individual sees and knows it, and that's the way we can do that. We always thank them on social media as well. Yeah. So to get their presence out there. So it's, it's a cross-utilization. They're helping someone in the community, but they're also marketing at the same time. So how do you get these sponsors now i mean i know you come here and so mm-hmm. somebody might be listening and go oh wow that sounds like something and yeah. and what would a sponsorship run i would think for a, a meal a week or something sure so right now being a, an entire month of meals is 750 dollars, and that helps us cover every single um, food aspect and packaging and all the things that go into mm-hmm. that component and so people can go online and they can e- email us it's just info at compassion org, mm-hmm. or they can call us and our phone number is 330 330- Five seven five zero nine nine six, and it's just a way to connect. You know, we are part of the different chambers, part of the Canton Chamber, the North Canton Chamber, so they can find our information yeah. there as well. And so we really have had, we have a really strong board. I love our board, and I don't just say that because Lynn's sitting. In well, here. that was my first question. I mean, if, if we asked her to leave the room, would, would you I tell her? Yes, I would. I would. And so I absolutely love our board, and um, they're all just really wonderful individuals in their own professions, but just. Everybody that sits at our table and all of us really can say that we know somebody, either ourselves personally or in a family or a friend who has dealt with a life threatening or terminal illness. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if we had your callers call in, I would say it'd be 100 percent across the board that people know somebody. And so when they find out what we're doing, it just really does hit home Mm -hmm. because you think of that person and you think of what they've had to go through. And so a lot of times it really is a pretty organic conversation that when they hear what we do, they just say, how can we help? And if they can't give financially, then volunteers. Um, we do also decorate our delivery bags, which has been a really fun thing for our kids here in Stark County to get behind. Um, we have a really nice partnership or kind of just support from Greentown Elementary School. And last year they decorated bags with us and helped us get some non-perishable items and really just be a champion in that way. And so then we have Girl Scout groups and we have you know moms who want to just have their kids get involved and they decorate the. So on a weekly bags. basis. They- they might come in or they might mm-hmm. do it at their locale right. and, and right. decorate it. So it could be a nice project for an elementary school Absolutely. group, you say. Absolutely. And you don't realize what a brown paper bag really does for somebody. You know, in the beginning, it was just plain and we delivered it and it didn't mean anything. Mm-hmm. And then we were like, what if we decorated this?
this. And now all of our clients are excited to see what bag they get on Friday. Yeah, wait and see. Yeah. They don't know what that's going to look like. And so um, it's just a really cool way of giving back, you know, in a, in a small way of showing right. kindness. And how do you get the elementary schools? I mean, did you just happen to walk down there? Your kids go there or something? No, or no? actually um, they found us because we had been featured on Cleveland 19 News back mm-hmm. in December of last year. And they reached out to us. And that's how we had that connection. And, um, and our board is really good at connecting us, you know, and just being in the community. People reach out and just say, how can we help? Yeah. Um, so it's been really fun. And you meet a lot of great people. Yeah. This is a great community. I mean, I love Star County. So <laughs> it is a great community. We witnessed that last week yeah. at our, our. But I can't draw. Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I, I don't do any hard that work on so bags. Awesome. Yeah. 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 So that's you're exactly right about that. So just the logistics of it, you know. Deliver, you deliver every Friday? Is that mm-hmm. how it works? Yes. Okay. So actually, I did all the deliveries for 50 weeks last year, I found out, when I sat down and actually looked at it. There were only two weeks that I had. I was out of town, and I was sick one week, and we asked that if you are sick, you don't deliver because we want to keep these people as healthy as possible. Sure. And so, um, But every Friday, usually between 11 and 2, We do form kind of a relationship, you know, yeah. and, and it's important because, um, like she said, a lot of them are alone and maybe don't have that other support, but it's important for us to just show that side of compassion. All right. Well, it's 28 minutes after nine o'clock. We've got news coming up next. We'll come back on the other side and uh, we'll talk more about compassion delivered. Hi, this is Tom Hamilton. Swing! and a miss. Bogey. It's been a rockin' sack of affair. The Tribe on WHBC. Score big with a new or used vehicle loan at Friends and Family Credit Union. We've got the bases covered for your new or used car, truck, or motorcycle purchase. Take advantage of our low rates, affordable payments, and convenient terms up to 84 months. And you can knock it out of the park by refinancing your high-interest vehicle loan from another financial institution. Stop by and visit with Tim, Chris, B, or Becky. They'll put you in your new ride with a payment you can afford and the rate you deserve. Friends and Family Credit Union with three full service locations to serve you online at friendsandfamilycu.com in the palm of your hand with mobile banking and like us on Facebook. Additional restrictions may apply. All rates and promotions are subject to change without notice. This institution is privately insured by ASI up to $250,000 per account. Score big with a new or used vehicle loan from Friends and Family Credit Union. It's time to bring a friend into the family. Compassion Delivered provides nutritional meals to people who have life-threatening or terminal illnesses at no cost to those in our community. Located in Stark County, Compassion Delivered believes that people should not have to choose between medical care they need or suffer from the malnutrition and hunger caused by their illnesses or disease. If you would like to volunteer, donate, or know someone who needs services, please visit CompassionDelivered.org. That's CompassionDelivered.org. News Talk 1480, WHBC Meal Deals. Purchase a $50 gift card from your favorite restaurant this week for just 25 bucks. This Friday, purchase one gift card and get one free to Milk and Honey on Cleveland Avenue in Canton. Meal Deals. Click on Deals at WHBC.com. I'm Vern Dale from Vern Dale's Water Center. Did you know Vern Dale's Water Center is the best place to buy your salt, softener salt, agricultural salt, even swimming pool salt? So make Vern Dale's Water Center your source for high quality salt at a great price. This is WHBC AM Canton News Talk 1480 WHBC. From the News Talk 1480 WHBC Newsroom, I'm Pam Cook. Two men are being treated for non-life-threatening gunshot wounds in Worcester, apparently in connection with a shooting outside the McDonald's on Beale Avenue early yesterday. Worcester police say they continue to investigate. A local group is asking the city of Louisville for a tax abatement to open a restaurant and craft brewery at the former Louisville Bowling Alley. The former Bowling Alley could become a craft brewery and restaurant. The group has three partners, and they say they plan to invest more than $400,000 to get the work done. Work is expected to begin next month. It should be done in 2019. Speaking of beer, Cleveland Browns fans will have the opportunity to celebrate the team's first regular season win with free beer. 
Bud Light is placing victory fridges filled with beer at 10 Cleveland area bars. When the game officially ends and the Browns have come out victorious, the electromagnet being used to keep the fridges locked will be turned off. But if you're hoping to partake, you have to be eligible for the free 16-ounce aluminum bottles. Fans have to be in the bar when the clock runs out, and you must be 21 years old. Of course, last season, the Browns became just the second team in NFL history to finish 0-16. More news coming up at 10 o'clock. I'm Pam Cook. Here's your RackyMother.com forecast. A very warm, humid day today. Partly sunny. It looks dry. A high nearing 90. Then we get a shower thunderstorm in the area tonight while it remains warm and muggy with a low near 70. Tomorrow won't be as warm. Still humid with a high of 81. We'll have clouds and a shower thunderstorm in the afternoon. Still a lot of dry time tomorrow. But there will be a few showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Friday. It'll be humid with temperatures in the middle 80s. I'm meteorologist Maggie Johnson for News Talk 1480 WHBC. Now back to Spotlight with Pam and Gary. All right, second half of Spotlight on this Wednesday morning. And let's reintroduce everyone this morning. Well, first of all, don't forget, we're live on Facebook right now. All you have to do is go to our Facebook page and like us at 1480 WHBC. You'll find it there. And uh, again, we've been talking about Compassion Delivered. We have uh, in studio with us Amanda and Daniel Anschutz and also uh, Lynn Gaston, who is a board member with Compassion Delivered. Amanda and Daniel are the Mm co-founders. And um, as I had said at the beginning of last hour, first met Amanda last November, Mm -hmm. and um, she was the very first Share the Good Star County recipient, and um, it was, it was such a, it was to to see kind of the the sparkle in your eye as this was being born, Mm -hmm. you know, and you were very excited about it, but you were getting ready for the future, and boy, what's the difference between then and now? I mean, how much, you know, has changed for you? So much has changed, you know, when we started doing this, we really felt that we would be um we would be help like impacting other people's lives but man they've impacted us you know to look back of where we've been in almost the two years it's there's no words really to describe what we've gone through and you know a lot of people see the the really fun and exciting outside of what we do but it's hard because we're dealing with people who have life-threatening or terminal illnesses and our organization experienced the the hard side just a few months ago, you know, we really felt like it'd be a long time before we would experience that. But, Mm -hmm. you know, we did, we got connected with people and unfortunately their, um, their illness took their lives and, and that's hard, you know, but we were there to walk with them through that time. And it really does make you appreciate the parts of life, you know, and you realize what's really important and what's not important, that relationships are more important than things. And we really, we really want that to be, are the forefront of what we're doing, you know, is that this is really giving compassion and being empathetic because illnesses and diseases are not going away and they don't discriminate and people just need somebody to come alongside and be there with them. And so we, um, we've grown and our board has grown and, um, and the ability to do more things have grown. And it's just, it's exciting. I was, I do laugh because I was so green back then and it was just, and it's funny to watch that video and you can tell that I'm like, I don't know what we're doing. So, um, but it If was, you want to see the video, go to WHBC.com, right? yeah. by the way, That's or share true. the good page. Yeah. Right. Just look at, just uh, Google, I don't know what I'm doing. And I'll show up. And, exactly. And there is the Amanda. Person. There I am. So it is. And, and really Lynn was the one that recommended us. And so yeah. Yeah. Um, that was such an honor. And so we, um, we've been really blessed to be able to share our story over different avenues over the last two years, and um, and we just keep moving forward, which means we'll have our very first big fundraiser this coming October. Um, we have a small kind of fundraiser next Tuesday at Blaze Pizza, um, where you know if you come in and buy a pizza and you have our flyer, you know proceeds of that will go to our organization that helps us to continue to provide these meals at no cost, and we really can only grow with what kind of money we have going sure. in. So yeah. our applications don't stop. We get a lot of applications each week. And um, and Lynn did touch on that, that there's not a lot of 
um, hoops that people have to jump through. They really just have to have a current medical diagnosis of a, a terminal or life-threatening illness. And you and have then, to have the ability to do it. Correct. So correct. it's just if they can add more, then, then you add the right. more. Right. Wow. Yeah. Uh, well, tell us about that fundraiser coming up in October, by the yes. way, you had kind of alluded to. So excited. So it is called Be the Change because that has kind of been our mantra since the beginning is we want you to just be some kind of good change in your community. And so it's called Be the Change Gala, and it's October 19th at the Courtyard Marriott here in, in Canton. Hmm. And uh, it's from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. And we're going to um, have some amazing food and we're going to have a DJ and dancing and food trucks and raffle baskets. And you get to hear our story and we'll have some of our clients that have been with us for a while share their stories. And it's just going to be a really fun night. I can't begin to like tell you how excited I am Wait a for minute. this Let night. Let me stop for you. For you. Sure. Your husband's not cooking? No. <laughs> he actually gets a night guy, I was off? Say. Yes. Does. What? Does. <laughs> I know, right? I know, finally. It's his first time. You won't have to work that week. I <laughs> mean, they have to slip that right by and we'll have food trucks. And I'm like, wait, wait a minute. We're just glad to know it's not you. That's right. That's right. Just no, because our... we want you to rest. That's right. right. Yeah. He yeah. needs to be there to enjoy and, and to get to and experience yeah. all the fun that we've had. So, um, But it's fun and we only have spots for 250 people mm -hmm. so we are um, halfway in our ticket sales already and we're only in august which is exciting um so but once they're gone they're gone I, they're gone oh where so, do you get the tickets you can go online to mm -hmm. our website which is www.compassiondelivered.org mm -hmm. um, or you can call us but online there's a big uh, emblem that says be the change gala you click on it and you can go buy your tickets and um and it's going to be a really fun night we're really excited wow. so all right, yeah. I mean, let's back up for a second. What's your background? I mean, you know, Compassion Delivered Universal. What did what, you do before oh, this? What did I do before it? So I actually came from the corporate side. Mm -hmm. And, and I, um, when, I gra when I was in college and early in my 20s, I, I will be 40 this year. I'm admitting that to everybody on the radio. There's yeah. nothing That's wrong crazy. with that, honey. <laughs> Gary, do you remember 40? That. I don't remember 40. Do you? No, I don't remember <laughs> 50. <laughs> oh, we know. Okay, I'm it. not that bad, yeah. but yeah, <laughs> close enough. Hey, it was a fun right. life, okay? Yes. Yes. So, no, I, I, my background is not in the nonprofit world at all, and uh, I did volunteer, and I was on, I have been on boards in my lifetime, but um, I came from the the, the corporate side of it, and mm -hmm. so um, lastly, I guess in the last seven years, um, I had worked in the school safety side of life, and so um, I still have a passion for that on the side, you know, that still is near and dear to my heart because of what's going on in our country. But um, this really is what we feel we've been called to do. And yeah. so I did step away from the corporate side of my career yeah. in January of 2016, 2017, and, um, and did this, I do this full time. And so um, I actually, and like I said earlier, we're not paid, but yeah. I do this full time um, because I truly believe in what it's going on. All right, and your husband, I'm um, assuming he wasn't flipping burgers at uh, at Burger no. King. Uh, what were you doing? <laughs> no, I, I, I've been a chef my entire life. Um, moved up here when we got married and still working as a chef full time. Nice. Okay. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so. that's and so and I'll I'll kind of go back to the meals just so for for those who are listening you know if they want to call and or you know submit an application or mm -hmm. anything like that first of all what how do they go about doing that a lot of our referrals come from the nurse navigators that Lynn was mentioning and so they pretty much are like the first line to kind of know that the person really truly needs the meals and so they fill out an application it's pretty um, it's in depth, but it's very quick to fill it out and it lets us know what their needs are, kind of what their challenges are. And once they, they send it in, then we kind of go through, um, our committee goes through it and that's just making sure that they meet all the criteria, which is a current illness, um, that it meets our mission and that we are able to provide the meals. Currently right now, we only provide meals to people in Stark County. Mm -hmm. um, if they live outside of Stark County, it's not something we can do at the moment, but that is something we're going to um, look work at in the towards. Room. Yeah. Mm -hmm. wow. Because there is a need, you know, there is a need in every community and every county in Northeast Ohio for something like this. Um, but we don't want to get too crazy, too fast, because we wouldn't. You have to be grow able to provide. right appropriately as right, a, as right. it moves along. Absolutely. So you have uh, several needs. One mm -hmm. is financial donors mm -hmm. and volunteers. Why don't yes. we start with the financial side before we take our final break here? Sure. So really, the financial side of it is is people want to give. Um, every little bit matters. You know, even if it's five dollars, ten dollars, whatever it might be, it really does help us continue to further the mission because um, people do need it, and we. 
we have been really um, blessed to be able to have people that just hear our mission and get behind what we're doing. Mm -hmm. um, and so they can do that online. There's different ways of to give. Um, we are a 501c3, so they can use that for their um, taxes, and um, it does you know go towards that now. Um, and and then, you're an equal opportunity. Uh, you know, enjoy your money from individuals, mm -hmm. businesses, other mm -hmm. organizations yes. can can donate, right? Absolutely. And all the money stays in Stark County and all the money goes right back out to the people that are receiving the meals. And um, which is really important because a lot of people look for um, where does their money go? And for us, their money goes right into our organization and right back out to the clients that we're helping. And then there's is there sponsorship availabilities, meaning you're sponsoring for the week or something? Mm -hmm. You had kind of mentioned that. I think I think businesses probably like that. Mm -hmm. yes. They can say, oh, it's a finite number. It's this right. amount of dollars, and I get this for that. And yes. it makes them feel probably good. So it what does. is that all about? So if you want to do a week of sponsorships, that's $150, and you call us, and we get you set up and get your logo, and we can put those on the meals. If you you do a whole month that's 750 that covers everybody wow um people sometimes also like holidays and so if they want to just sponsor like the christmas season or whatnot of meals we can you know talk about that and mm -hmm. they just give us a call and we work that out with them so it's pretty and operators are standing by but right. christmas is really gonna go it's fast hot one. i'm just sitting here so thinking, you yeah. better be yes, calling yes, now yes. well actually last year thanksgiving was very popular because mm. thanksgiving <sighs> is such an important holiday yeah and we had you know local people that donated pies to give to clients, you know, and we had, you know, cookies and all those really cool things to go along with the meals. And so that, you know, cause everybody needs to have the sweeter side of life as well. And that's is right. that your logo, that's your right. motto? Everybody, yeah. what is that? I <laughs> love that line. It's, it's not trademarked yet. <laughs> no. Not yet. But I would get it done fast. <laughs> it is we'll now. We'll filling that out now. So yeah, <laughs> that's right. That's right. <laughs> all right. So yeah. if they want to sponsor, mm -hmm. they call you or go to the website Correct. or both, right? right. And what's both. the number? So it's three, three, zero five seven five zero nine nine six or the website is www.compassiondelivered.org there are power lines down what if you woke up one day and everything just stopped going wrong no more accidents no more emergencies it's a nice thought but things do go wrong Every day, accidents happen. Pain reaction crash. Disasters hit. The devastation. Tragedy. And the news isn't always good. The deadliest mass shooting. Canton's news talk station's here to help when life doesn't go right. Massive, unprecedented disaster. WHBC. This is Glenn Dumoulin with the Packley and Arnold Lynch Funeral Home, and we invite you to tour our beautiful facility in person and now online. Take a virtual tour of the Packley and Arnold Lynch Funeral Home from the comfort of your own home. The virtual tour brings 3D panoramic experience of street view inside the funeral home where visitors can see the entire facility inside and out. View the decor and building as if you were there to see our private and public viewing rooms, cremation observation deck, and much more. The virtual tour is part of the online services which are available at ArnoldLynch.com. Our interactive, consumer-friendly options at ArnoldLynch.com make it simple to purchase flowers, find information dealing with grief and aftercare, locate obituaries, prearrange funerals or cremation with price details, learn about veterans' benefits and Social Security benefits, and now take a virtual tour of the Packley and Arnold Lynch Funeral Home. As always, you're invited to visit us at 1100 Wales Road Northeast in Maslin or tour online at arnoldlynch.com. Recycle, you can make a difference. Recycle, in your community. Hi, my name is Wendy Bullock from the Stark Tusker R.S. Wayne Recycling District. We would like to invite you to learn, inspire, and make a difference by becoming a Master Recycler. The Master Recycling Program is a seven-week course that excites and prepares volunteers to influence others to live a greener life. The Master Recycler Program will be held September 13th through October 25th. The course fee is $20, which includes food, transportation, and supplies for all activities. The course will be held at our district office, located in Bolivar. For more information, please call our office at 330-874-2258 or email tiffany at timetorecycle.org. Spots are limited, so please register before August 31st. Be part of the change and join our volunteer program to reduce, reuse, and recycle. Make a difference in your community. Never sacrifice style for performance. Smart Strand Silk Forever Clean Carpet from Karis Down now features all pet. 
All Pet is the only carpet protection and warranty that covers all pets, all accidents, all the time. That's because Smart Strain is engineered for beauty and performance with stain protection and odor resistance built into the carpet fiber. Visit Hosner Carpet One across from Central Catholic or at HosnerCarpet1.com to find the perfect Smart Strain carpet for your home and your pet. Live beautifully, worry-free with Smart Strain Forever Clean with all pet protection and warranty from Karistan. Napa know-how. Car parts are filthy. Heck, seems like even looking at a car can stain your shirt. Luckily, Gunk Engine Degreaser is on sale for $3.99 plus $4 mail-in rebate, which is basically free. So get the cleaning power you need with Gunk Engine Degreaser. Now just $3.99 plus $4 mail-in rebate. Quality parts, helpful people. That's Napa know-how. Napa know-how. At participating Napa Auto Parts stores. Offer expires 8 31 18 Policies issued by American General Life Insurance Company, Houston, Texas. Not available in all states. For details, visit AIGdirect.com. Do you have a family? Would you like to help make sure they'll be taken care of if anything were to happen to you? If you answered yes, you probably need life insurance. Now, do you think life insurance is expensive? If you answered yes to that, too, you definitely need to give AIG Direct a call. We could find you a quarter of a million dollar policy for just $14 a month which means you could save hundreds of dollars a year. Call us now for a free, no-obligation quote. 1-800-400-3816. Since 1995, we've helped millions of people find out if they could save up to 70% on their term life insurance. See how affordably we can help you protect your family. Call AIG Direct now for your free quote. 1-800-400-3816. You could save up to 70%. That's 1-800-400-3816. 1-800-400-3816. Warning. If you're drowning in debt you can't afford, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to pay it all back because you don't. What the credit card companies don't want you to know is that there's actually a way to get debt-free without paying off your entire debt or going bankrupt. If you have $5,000 or more in credit card debt, you now have the right to let us settle that debt for a fraction of what you owe. For free information, call Credit Associates now. 1-800-900-6131. We'll even show you how much money you could save. If you can't afford to pay off all your debt, do not let the credit card companies trick you into thinking that you have to. Call Credit Associates now for free information on how to get debt-free faster than you ever thought possible without debt consolidation or bankruptcy. We depend on your success and offer a guarantee, so there's no risk. For free information, call now, 1-800-900-6131. That's 1-800-900-6131. 1-800-900-6131. Now back to Spotlight with Pam and Gary. Okay. All right, back to Spotlight on News Talk 1480 WHBC, our final segment with Compassion so Gary, Delivered. What? Let's talk about this. You know, they're talking about their fundraiser and they're going to yeah. auction stuff off, right? Yeah. And so we just, I just have it in my Steeler mug here. Yeah. And Amanda says, yeah, we contacted the Steelers and they sent us uh, two signed photos yeah. that we're going to auction off. I said, who is it? She goes, 82, 80 something. I don't know. I said, 84. Who's he? Antonio Brown. <laughs> the best wide receiver oh, in the NFL. Out loud. I just... I, I'm learning. I'm learning. Like, yeah. you know, hey, I'll help you out with anything yeah. okay. you need. Don't you Welcome worry. to the Browns. It doesn't matter what the number is. It's changed from last year. That's true. <laughs> right. So, well, the, na- the number is the same. The name the, the is name changed. The name is changed. <laughs> That's right. That's, That's right. right. But uh, sooner or later, that'll come through. Oh, my gosh. It will. Maybe in our lifetime. Yeah. That's right. It will. It will. All right. So let's get back to business here because we only have yeah, a We few have another guest minutes. in the studio. I know. From- oh, that's okay. Been so kind, and she's a board member of... Of right. Compassion Delivered, and she's with Altman, and we want to, you know, Lynn, talk about... Um, I think I know why she joined the board. She doesn't have to talk. Right. <laughs> she can just come into the room and go exactly. and nod her head. And I get to not talk and enjoy the meals. That's right. It's a it's win-win a win for me. Yeah. Right. I take the minutes at the well, meeting. Maybe, you know, it'd be, uh, maybe you could kind of fill us in on from the hospital side of it, mm-hmm. you know, when the patients are, they find out about this service and they're aware of this, I mean, that must be a relief to them, I would imagine. You know, I think it is. Um, Um, I haven't had a lot of direct contact with the individuals that have applied, um, but when we did go out to the homes and and we did help Amanda deliver meals a few times, um, I think, again, it's just the the fact that somebody's caring about them, and as we've alluded to, there's not a lot of steps to get involved. Um, And I think also, 
you know, when we deliver the meals, if they've had a good week, we talk about it. If they've had a bad week, we talk about it. Um, we've helped to link them up with other services or other resources. Um, so it's just kind of an extra set of eyes for them. Yeah. Um, but I think they are relieved because it's just one thing that they don't have to worry about. A lot of the cancer patients are getting chemotherapy um, and sometimes don't have a big appetite or yeah. foods just don't taste. And the first thing that people want to do when someone is sick is bring them food or bring them comfort or mm -hmm. bring them meals. And it's hard for them because they don't, they can't eat those meals. Mm -hmm. um, and so these are very small portions. Um, they've, uh, Daniel's been very respectful of to get feedback on, you know, what would taste good for them. There's not a lot of um, spices and things so that they don't um, interfere with their taste. Mm -hmm. And so um, I think they're just appreciative that somebody maybe is really thinking those things through um, to help give them the nutritional strength that they need to maybe get them through their chemo an extra week or two. Well, and that brings me to volunteers who deliver. Boy, it, it looks like you're looking for a special kind of a person. We do. We um, we just started working with volunteers two weeks ago mm -hmm. because we're growing and I can't do any more than what I was right. doing. Well, your husband's so, not doing it. And he's not going to do it. He's busy. Oh, oh he's busy. <laughs> He's busy in the kitchen. So um, so we have we have had some volunteer training, and we vetted these volunteers, and we absolutely just love them. Um, they are so great. And the first day that they came back from delivering meals, they just said, you know, this is something special because they had a chance to get to meet the clients and share these, you know, the opportunity of delivering the meals. And they just said, this is really going to touch our lives. And so we're looking for volunteers because as we grow, we're going to need the numbers. And it's really simple. You know, we just... You you sign up for um, some time to come in, and we train you, and we kind of talk through the process. Mm -hmm. um, they do have to go through a background check. We do vet them, make sure that um, they, they meet all the criteria, and then we get them plugged in to deliver meals and then eventually also work in the kitchen. And we promise they won't have to have, like, crazy knife skills or anything like that. You know, it's just <laughs> it's going to be really easy-peasy kind of, you know, being in the kitchen just to help, you know, him out with, uh, with the way we're growing. So, Yeah, and I would imagine, I mean, the preparation – how are you doing it? I mean, it has to be like a well-oiled machine, I would imagine. <laughs> we were doing all the meals out of our house until, uh, yeah. So, well, I was pretty much capped as what we were allowed to do out of our home. Mm -hmm. um, and then we have, have a uh, church who's willing to partner with us who has a kitchen that we can use. Oh, so, great. Okay. So, uh, I have it down to where I can make about 10 meals an hour now out of the out of this kitchen versus in our home, which used to take an entire day just to make the small amount we were doing because... Small home kitchen does not compare to a commercial grade kitchen. Right, right. <laughs> I can imagine. Mm -hmm. and, and so, what do you? How do you decide the menu? I mean, what do you? You know, how do you come up with those things? I, it's all off the top of my head. Just, uh, <laughs> and, is and it from, pretty basic, or and they're, I don't want to say bland because that's not the word I'm no, looking for. No, they're flavorful. For, they're, I mean, it's like, again the, the starch, the vegetable, the the protein, and making sure you're looking at the, the right fats and not a. Uh, not you know not not just strip steaks with a big old you know piece of fat on the outside mm -hmm. or anything like that and and the the the, the high fiber high protein um, and the the fresh vegetables we get locally is the biggest part. I even heard that from people going, "Where are the fresh vegetables coming back?" Mm -hmm. Just because you know when in the winter yeah. months it's a little more difficult, right? And when you have a farm locally that's able to help you out with fresh vegetables, that's huge. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's well, for fantastic. instance, like this week it'll be a big a lemon baked scrod. And, you know, couscous and squash and, um, you know, sometimes it's like a sweet potato, you know, things like that. So mm -hmm. that's kind of the, the, the basis, you know, of what we're doing or, you know, it could be a, a glazed um, pork chop or, you know, so there is still flavorful. And what the feedback we get is a lot of our clients say, it looks like a restaurant meal. It looks like I literally went out and bought mm -hmm. Yeah, and we got a really great. nice restaurant, and I st and it needs to look appealing because we eat with our eyes. And if it doesn't look good, it, people aren't going to enjoy it. Yeah. And so they well, do. they like it because there's not a fifteen or twenty percent tip that right. they're <laughs> having to that add on true. to the restaurant <laughs> meal you're delivering. That's right. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> I mean, that's you, you know, again, uh, tell folks the more more information on if they want to get in touch to volunteer, or if they want to make a donation, or or if they want to sign up for the program. How sure. do they go about doing so that? So you can you can call us, which is three three zero five seven five zero nine nine six. You can go to our website, which is www.compassiondelivered.org, or emailing us, which is info at compassiondelivered.org. Um, is always the best way to connect with us. If you know somebody who needs meals, you want to mm -hmm. refer somebody, we're open to that. Um, if you want to donate, if you want 
want to volunteer or find out other ways to help, you know, bring some kindness to what we're doing, we're always open, you know, and we love collaborating and working with other nonprofits around the area. Um, there's just some really great ones and we're happy to, to find a way to just continue mm. to share the good. You know, what's the long term? Sure, I mean, right now. Maybe like that. <laughs> but I mean, you've got a church that's uh, obviously donating their their space, and you can work mm-hmm. with their kitchen on that. But what what happens down the road if you start getting the triple and quadruple what you expect? Sure. Well, I, out of the kitchen that we have, I would say we could probably serve up to a hundred people a week, and that'd be max capacity in mm-hmm. the kitchen. Um, and post that, we would hope and pray for a large donor, so that we could build mm-hmm. a kitchen of our own. Our, ultimately, our goal is to um, find a forever home mm-hmm. that we can basically build, and that's where we are. And that would allow us to not only support our community, but be centrally located where we can support the communities around us as well. Yeah. So that's yeah. the future. Wow. That's fantastic. And, and again, I'll tell you, if you want to see the uh, video uh, with Amanda, you can go to whbc.com uh, and uh, check out our Share the Good page. Yeah. It's on page two because she was the original. Right. She was the first. The very first. So, um, and, you know, I, I loved the, the whole concept then and I love it now. I think you mm-hmm. guys do a fantastic job. And you. Altman, you know, joining forces with them and the hospitals in the area. I mean, that's, you know, that's a real important thing to people. Mm-hmm. It's a real important mm-hmm. thing. So, again, repeat the details of the gala. Do we have time for that, Gary? Yeah, we got fast? a whole minute here. Sure. Okay. So our Be the Change Gala is October 19th um, from 6 to 10 p.m. at the Courtyard Marriott. And you can purchase tickets online at www.compassiondelivered.org. And we have options for couple tickets or individual tickets. There's also opportunity to sponsor during that as well. Um, so if you're a company and you want to look to sponsor, you know, definitely reach out to us. But you have the silent auctions or do we you have to just go bid against each other on the Antonio Brown a, uh, yeah, photos? Right. We'll yeah, like a, he wants that. Well, that's right. He, he wants that one. We'll, well, we'll I have a dartboard that I have. Oh, a... that's how it is. <laughs> it's more like a voodoo doll. Nice. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes, it is. Well, we have a raffle. We'll do mm-hmm. some raffle. And then we're also going to do an auction as well. Um, just a way for people to give. And we'll have some really fun items as well, some golf packages and, and whatnot. So, CompassionDelivered.org. Correct. That's the place yes. to go. Well, thank you all so much for Thanks being so in much. here this morning. Thanks for having us. Because getting there is half the fun. Traffic in the morning and when it trends. Coverage like nowhere else. This is WHBC. Wrinkle and Reese Motor Cars opened its doors in 1990.